Good morning, everybody. This is Jeff J. Brown, China Rising Radio Sino Land, and I'm not in Shenzhen, just south of the Tropic of Cancer. Uh, as you can see behind me, it's different. And you can uh, tilt my head uh, for you YouTube uh, <clears throat> fans out there. There's the Christmas tree behind me. Uh, my wife Florence and I are in Oklahoma, um, where I grew up um, and spent my formative years. And uh, we are at our uh, daughter's and son-in-law's house here. And it's actually, it's Christmas morning and everybody's asleep. So uh, this is my Christmas gift to you. And uh, I'm on uh, my uh, laptop, so please be a little bit patient. Terje Malloy, and that's spelled T-E-R-J-E-M-A-L-O-Y, Malloy on World War I propaganda. Nothing has changed in a hundred years. Tons of, there's a couple of wonderful visuals, there's uh, hyperlinks, so go to chinarising.puntopress.com or the uh, YouTube and SoundCloud channels, and the link to this article will be there, uh, as well as all of the visuals, etc. Pictured above, typical racist propaganda poster from World War I, depicting Germans as a giant black fanged simeon ready to rape a lily white woman while marching into the united states with a bloody culture and that's spelled k-u-l-t-u-r club in hand screaming destroy this mad brute it demands that you enlist in the military complete with address 600 market street it was maybe for chicago this same broken imperial record gets replayed for every war, including America's invasions and occupations of Muslim countries around the world or via proxy armies. I am pleased to share Mr. Terje Malloy's skills with you. Patrice Cronville at the Greenville Post is always looking for talented journalists and writers who deserve a wider audience. He found Terje's amazing article about World War I propaganda, something I have written about. I was so enthralled that I started a, an email friendship with him, and we also had a nice uh, phone conversation about his work. Terje's historical review of Western propaganda is very revealing. He shows how British and French spies paid the Italian press to promote getting into World War I, and the UK government spent years infecting national media with war hype to prepare its citizens for another bloody imperial resource grab. Mr. Edward Bernays, B-E-R-N-A-Y-S, the man who wrote the seminal book Propaganda, cut his teeth working for Woodrow Wilson's Orwellian-named Committee on Public Information. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that the sinking of the Lusitania was a blatant false flag to infect British and American citizens with war rabies, so they would be foaming at the mouth to die attacking subhuman Huns, as shown in the visual up top and another one below. Throughout his article, Terje demonstrates that World War I was all about which Western countries were going to control human and natural resources in Europe and around the world for imperial colonial exploitation. <clears throat> Flash forward to our current generation of endless lies and false flags that are used to justify the West capitalist invasion, occupation, and plunder of Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and elsewhere across the globe. This corporate government fascism is coupled with pathological propaganda campaigns against anti-imperial enemies like Russia, China, Iran, and Venezuela, to name just a few. It is all a stark revelation that Westerners are in dangerous denial about how unfree is their media and undemocratic their government governments. It is painfully hard to admit all these myths and illusions, and Terhe's article puts it all in badly needed historical perspective. In honor of Terje's outstanding research and writing about the West's World War I propaganda machine, here's another poster seen back in those days, and, and it's really worth coming to this article to see it. 
Terje Malloy is a Norwegian citizen with roots north of the Arctic Circle. Nowadays, he spends a lot of time in Australia working in the family business. He has particular interests in liberty, ju global justice, imperialism, history, media analysis, and what Western governments really are up to. He runs a blog, uh, mostly in Norwegian, but occasionally in English. He likes to write about general geopolitical matters and Northern Europe in particular, presenting perspectives that are otherwise barely mentioned in the dominant media, i.e. most things that actually matter. Uh, he uh, provides his email, and then there's a, a number of links uh, to his work. This is Jeff J. Brown signing out from China Rising Radio Sinoland in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Merry Christmas, and I'll hopefully get uh, one out uh, before, before, before New Year. Bye-bye.